As the pandemic continues, more and more products are popping up, claiming to either kill coronavirus or prevent it. One of those products is a so-called virus shutout necklace. In this Verify report tonight, News A's Shannon Handy shows us what it is and looks into whether or not it actually works. Virus shutout necklaces can easily be found on the internet. Essentially, they're like lanyards. You wear them around your neck and they claim to have ingredients that will prevent you from getting COVID-19. It is suitable for all ages, including newborn, babies and pregnant women. Virus shut out and your virus. The simple search on YouTube will reveal several pages dedicated to the so-called virus shutout necklace. Companies most based in Asia claim wearing one will protect you from getting COVID-19. We wanted to verify, do they work? According to Amy Miller, director of the Enforcement and Compliance Assurance Division at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, no. Some of these necklaces say it will give you six feet of protection. These claims are not true. Miller tells News 8 there's no proof the products are effective. They could even be dangerous. These products have a chemical in them, chlorine dioxide. It's a respiratory irritant. The EPA has been busy lately cracking down on other illegal products that claim to kill or prevent COVID. On the West Coast alone, they've intercepted 7 million, including disinfectant wipes and UV wands. In August, a San Diego company called EcoShield LLC was issued a stop sale order for a clip-on product they manufacture called the EcoAir Doctor Portable. You name it, there's a variety of products that are being sold out there that are illegal. With so many products out there, is there a way to verify if they're safe? Yes. Miller suggests doing two things. First, check the EPA website for its list of approved products. Another tip, legal products have to be registered with the EPA. You can look at the label. Take this Clorox wipes container, for example. The EPA registration number is located right here on the back. And if you do come across something that seems suspicious, report it to the EPA. We sure do want to know about them. We've put that EPA list on our website. Just go to cbsa.com and click on the help button. And if there's an issue you'd like us to verify, email us at verify at kfmb.com.